in this module i shall characterize compactness in terms of open covers so without further ado let me state the main theorem that we are interested in a set k subset of r is compact if and only if every open cover of k has a finite sub cover let's prove this proof let k be a compact subset of r okay let o be an open cover of k we now have to show we now have to show that there is a finite sub cover there is a finite sub cover of o now how do i show that there is a finite sub cover of o i have to use this lebesgue number property we know that with respect to k o has a lebesgue number so let delta greater than 0 be a lebesgue number lebesgue number for o with respect to k respect to k this means this means for all x in k b of x delta is a subset of some ox ox which is an element of o this is the definition of a lebesgue number okay how does this help us well pick pick some x1 in k okay suppose suppose b x1 delta b x1 delta does not contain contain k there are two possibilities either this single open set b x1 delta the single ball uh, itself contains k or it doesn't we are assuming that this single ball doesn't contain k then choose choose x2 in k set minus b x1 delta choose some point which of k which is not there in b x1 delta continue continue like this this means this means having chosen chosen x1 to xk let xk plus 1 be an element of k set minus b x1 delta union b x2 delta dot 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 union b x k delta okay now now if this process this process terminates 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 we are done why are we done if this process terminates well the only way this process can terminate is if k is a subset of some b x1 delta 1 or not delta 1 just delta b x1 delta union b x2 delta union dot 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 union b x k delta 
that is some finite connect collection of open balls cover the whole of k but each one of these open balls is contained in some element ox1 ox2 dot 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 oxk remember delta is an a uh, not an a lebesgue number so that means k will be subset of ox1 union dot 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 oxk and we have found our required finite subcover so the only possibility is this process this process doesn't terminate process doesn't terminate okay which just means we have found a sequence xk let me not call it xk let me call it xn we have found a sequence xn in k okay not only have we found an xn in uh, k this xn plus 1 is not an element of b xn delta right that's exactly the way by which the next element in the sequence was chosen okay hence hence xn cannot be cauchy cannot be cauchy right for this choice of delta xn plus 1 and xn can never be delta close right by the very way by which we have chosen this xn which means this means this means not only can xn not be cauchy this means any subsequence any subsequence cannot be cauchy as well why is that the case well it's because any given term of the sequence is at least delta distance away from all the prior terms so the same argument will tell you that this any subsequence also cannot be cauchy hence no subsequence no subsequence of xn can converge which this contradicts this contradicts the fact the fact that k is compact right compact means any sequence has to have a convergent subsequence we have just found a subsequence that does not converge so we what we have shown is that if k is compact any open cover will have a finite subcover now for the converse let k be a set set such that such that any open cover open cover has a finite subcover okay we have to show we have to show that given a sequence given a sequence xn in k there is some convergent subsequence okay how does one do this well this proof is a bit tricky so what i do is i collect together all the points xn and put it as a set okay let me call this set s the terms of this sequence let me call it s now let let s prime denote denote the set of limit points limit points points of s Okay. let s prime denote the set of limit points of s note that note that s prime intersect k if non empty if non empty will produce for s 
produce for us the required subsequence required subsequence or rather required convergent subsequence convergent subsequence now this is left as an exercise exercise for you what we are doing is our aim is to produce a convergent subsequence of xn we are looking at all the limit points of s the claim is if one limit point of this set s is also there in k this will allow us to produce a subsequence that is actually going to converge to a point of k which is what we want to show okay hence 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 no limit point no limit point of s is an element is an element of k is an element of k okay now what does this mean this means this means that given given any x in k we can find delta x greater than 0 such that such that b of x delta x intersect k contains contains at most at most one point one point of the set of the set s again exercise so this proof i am leaving two steps to you in the hope that you will get practice in thinking about the various concepts and the relationship between the various concepts okay now let me give you a hint for this part this is because we are assuming that no limit point of s is an element of k that's the key okay look at look at the collection the collection collection o which is equal to this b x delta x as x runs through k this is the collection of all such open balls okay clearly clearly as x is an element of b x delta x it is no shock that uh, it follows that that o is an open cover of k by hypothesis by hypothesis by hypothesis o has a finite subcover finite subcover okay this means this means some b x 1 delta x 1 union b x 2 delta x 2 union dot 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 b x n delta x n or let me not use n x m delta x m this collection contains k this forces this forces the set s to be finite this forces the set s to be finite okay because each one of these balls b x delta x 1 b x 2 delta x 2 dot 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 b x m b x m delta x m each one of them contains at most one point of s okay so this force of the set s to be finite then it is easy to see it is easy to see that that 
xn has a constant subsequence constant subsequence and we are done and we are done okay so we have now characterized compactness in terms of open covers let me make the general remark that historically the proof that any closed and bounded subset of r for such a set any open cover has a finite subcover that is what was classically known as the heine borel theorem i have stated the what i call the heine borel theorem slightly differently i have characterized compactness in terms of sequences which i believe is a much better approach at such an elementary course this is a course on real analysis and you have just watched the module on equivalent notions of compactness